This is the Geneva Shore Report coming to you from the beach in downtown Lake Geneva, which still looks like a beach. We see our friends, the gulls are halfway down the beach where they normally wait uh, to get their afternoon snack. And they're already gathered. Uh, the flock stays about, that's the nucleus of them, about 20 birds, but it's funny to watch. Anyway, we are here on... It is Friday morning. December 13th, Friday the 13th, yes, it 2019. Is. <laughs> I'm Lisa Otto. John Lepkowski. And George Bush is Jr. And the Geneva Show Report. Good, Good morning. morning. And we are here for the Friday morning news report right here in Lake Geneva. A lot so, going on. A lot going on. First of all, I'm going to talk about the meeting last yes. night. We had the special plan commission meeting and it was all regarding the three options for the Hillmore property. And once again, plans. Okay. So fourth we, attempt at a vote. Yeah. Okay, well, they did end up voting, but first we had a lot of public comments, a lot of great public comments, and a lot of new faces in in I the love audience. New I know. Faces. So not as many people as um, we've had previously regarding the Hillmore property, but some new faces and a lot of great comments. So we have a lot of those posted already on the GSR. Not all of them, but most of them are posted, and it they went for almost an hour and a half. The public comments. Wow. And then we had the plan commission members all um, speak about what their thoughts were on the Hillmore property and the three options. So what ended up happening is we had three plan commissioners um, vote for option C, which is to leave it alone as is. Tom Hart, Skates, and who else? Doug Skates. Who was the third vote? Um, it was the for the options I know. C. Mm -hmm. It was... For option B, there were three votes. Okay? No, no, option no. C. Option C had three votes. It was. Um, I Mike, thought it was split three and three. Jovic? No, it was no. three and two. Okay. And so we had um, Michael. Mike Stojovic. And. Anna Scarrow. Yes. And John Gibbs all voted for option C. And then Brent. Brett. Um, oh, what is his last name? Stenak. Yeah, and Doug Skates yeah. voted for. But the, does it Tom B. Hartz gets the vote too? No, he doesn't. No. Oh, really? Yes. So William Catlin was the only plan commission member that was not there, so there was no vote. So when they did the vote and option C won, everyone was kind of confused and didn't know what it really meant or yeah. what to do with it because it was a verbal vote. It wasn't official, apparently. And so now they're saying it was a failed attempt at a vote because there was a missing plan commission member. Well, they knew there was one me yeah. member missing before they even did the vote. Right. But I, I just don't think that some of the people on the board up there liked the answer. So that was so they're their, looking for a loophole. they're looking for a loophole. Yeah. And so now they're waiting for the other plan commission member to come back, William Catlin. But then they mentioned he has not been at the last three or four meetings um, regarding the Hillmore property, so he's not informed on what the what's been going on. So the whole thing is, is a mess. Was, was yeah. a mess. It was very bizarre and a mess. And I mean, it sounded like option C one, according to the public, and what happened Again. last night. Yeah. But we'll see what yeah, happens finalized. with that. And it still has to go to city council if it does at this point. And it still has to be finalized, incorporated into the comprehensive plan. So nothing is done yet. There is really no final decision yet. More meetings to come. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> what else is happening? Okay, so besides that, we have fun stuff going on. We do on. have lots of fun stuff this weekend. We have, oh, the Wisconsin State Ice Sculpting Competition in Burlington. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow, all day, and they'll have fun events with it too, like a sleigh ride. A bonfire with s'mores, Santa, Mrs. Claus. So lots of good things going on in Burlington. And we have Santa and his reindeer coming back to Lake Geneva on Saturday between 11 and 2 on the corner of Geneva on Broad Street in front of Beef Jerky Outlet and Frank's Original. So come on down and get some photos with Santa and um, meet the reindeers. I think it's Vixen and Dixon are going to be there. I like it. So, so we have that going on. And of course... Get your holiday shopping finished or started. <laughs> Thank you. Something That's good like advice. that. I, yeah, I really need to get going on that. Um, and I want to mention downtown Lake Geneva has a lot of great 
um, unique chefs. Yes, they do. We were in Geneva Gifts yesterday, and we were in, what shop was it before that? Uh, we were in one the other day, too. But the oh, unique yeah. stocking stuffers. I, I am not kidding A you. A lot Geneva of Gifts stuff. really has fun stuff for stockings. So you're not going to find some of the stuff they have. So is Cornerstones. Hannah's by the yeah. Lake. Yeah, Cornerstone's yeah, great Hannah's too. Yeah, Hannah's by the Lake. Yes. Oh, they have some great stuff over they there. They do. A great sales on Lake. And they have Pandora. Pandora yes, Charms. Yes, which is hard to, to come find. by. Yeah. yeah. So um, we're going to check out some more shops today. And I know, oh, yesterday was National Gingerbread Day. And the gingerbread houses over at Grand Geneva oh, are fabulous. Oh, they're so cool. They and did a great job. Today is National what day? Uh, it is the birthday of the National Guard. Yeah. Mm. So, happy birthday. Hats happy off birthday. to those guys okay. and gals. Yes. All right, so we're going to wrap it up, but we'll be back later today with more weather, road, and news reports. I'm Lisa Otto. John Lovkowski. And George Belushi, Jr. And the Geneva Show Report. Merry Bye. Christmas. Merry